The work day is over and I stayed after work just for a little while to scrap metal so that, hold on a second. I want to make sure I, I don't have any boogers. There's like a vlog a couple days ago where I had like some ketchup and mustard on my face and it, it sucks when you're the only one vlogging because you don't have somebody else to tell you, uh, dude, you got like a booger hanging from your nose. Uh, I stayed after work a little bit to scrap metal so that I don't have to do it tomorrow and I can have like epic tombstone day like all day long. Uh, so I gotta squish something, right? That's like the thing with like Sundays and scrapping metal and squishing. So let's squish. Now, that is one squished stool. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool, too. So, no fail today. It's squished. I didn't think it was for a while, because there's been some pretty hefty people that have sat on this, and, uh, well, I guess it can't take, like, 6,000 pounds, though. <laughs> All right, I'm done. So you guys can tell that the scheduling of events is a little bit different this week, because usually I scrap on Sundays, but I didn't, I scrap today. The interesting thing about it is Travis and I had not talked. Usually, uh, lately, it's been like the Sunday tombstone stuff day, whatever. The interesting thing about it is that he's got plans for tomorrow evening, so he's coming over while well, he's here right now. Hi, Travis. What's up? <laughs> so he came over tonight to do tombstones, and we're going to continue this in the morning, I believe. Mm -hmm. Well, by noon. Okay, well, yeah. My ass wants to sleep in. I'm tired. Um, so, anyway, okay, uh, case in point. A lot of you guys, I asked you like a week ago uh, for your epitaphs. Um, so, if you still have any that are like kind of funny, but still, you know, haunt related, obviously. Or some, well, I guess it's an epitaph. I guess it is haunt related. So, uh, still give them to me because I'm still looking for some. Um, I've chosen some from you guys that I'm going to use on the backs of the tombstones that I've been making. And then several weeks ago, I told you guys about... I, I was kind of joking around, saying that I wanted to do a tombstone for Hugh Hefner. You guys are probably thinking, oh my gosh, you are crazy. Eh, maybe a little bit. But, the cool thing about it is I, I've, I've come up with one. Because Hugh Hefner is 85 years old right now. So... Not only would it be, not that I'm trying to predict somebody's death, but the tombstone's going to read um, from 1926 to 2013. It, just because I'm, it just he popped in there. He himself a prophet. <laughs> That'd be weird as shit if it happened, though. Anyway, um, so what do you guys think about this? Hugh Hefner, 1926 to 2013. No longer rising to the occasion. I'm proud of myself for that because I, yeah, no kidding, because I, I'm not a, uh, a writer by any means. Alright guys, so good news. I saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by not having any. Just kidding. Um, I know I got to laugh it out of you though. Um, so okay, the trim and the office, done. I used that before. Yeah, but I, Repeat. Repeat. he just said I used that before. But I've, I, I've got some new peeps now. Hello, new subscribers. Welcome to Hellmouth. Um, so anyway, uh, just sitting here printing out the uh, the graphics. Oop, I gotta have to enlarge this. Yeah, enlarging it 250 times. It's like crazy. So here I am. I, I get done with scrapping, and I go out to Taco Bell and grab some 99 cent what you call it? Taco Bell soft burritos. And I'm sitting here catching up on my so you think you can dance drifting off to sleep, and I'm eating a burrito, 
and all of a sudden I feel this like hard, sharp, nasty thing like back in my tooth. And I'm like, what was that? Well, guess what? I cracked my tooth and a big old piece of it came out. So, ow. Kind of in pain right now. It hurts. And it doesn't hurt in a good way. 250 times. <laughs> I waste so much paper going through and doing this. Just get it right. And see, that is not right. Short little update. So I've gotten all this printed out, and this is the basic layout. And uh, Travis is actually working on some... Uh, oh, he's got those cut. And uh, you, you guys told me what they are, and I know. I just don't know how the hell to pronounce them. Oh, the tombstones? Oh, obelisks or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Spires or whatever. Um, and what was the? Where's the? Oh, is that it? Across? Yeah. Which is odd, considering these things were all cut from the same sheets. Yet. Well, there there's two different sheets, well, but they were purchased. You at didn't the... tell me that, did you? <laughs> but they were purchased at the exact same time, so I don't understand why why one would be. A little bit higher than the other one. I don't understand that. So obviously, I cut both of these from the same sheet and all four of these from the same sheet. Apparently so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just using scraps. I was trying to, you know, utilize all the spare stuff. I'm trying to save this man financially. Come on, <laughs> cut me some slack. Yeah, especially since I'm gonna have to see the dentist now. <laughs> God, that sucks. Here, let me help you with that. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Katy Perry is singing about her peacock right now. Disgusting whore! <laughs> Great, now, now, you, now you've done it. Now you've offended all the Katy Perry fans. Okay, well, anytime you show me on your vlog, you know I have to offend somebody. <laughs> Whether or not it makes the cut is entirely up to you. <laughs> well, I have to admit that there have been a lot of them that haven't. But there have been some that have. Well, if you'd sorry. want, if you want, you'd know. If I'd watch, I know. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, Troy, I'd just rather talk to you in person. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, want to well, see well. you on a television screen or a computer. Or something. So you're one of the lucky ones, though. Because I actually know you in yeah. person. Yeah. yeah, yeah. To know me is to love me. Yes. Oh my it's god, that was a sign point, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I said that the other day. <laughs> Wait, what would you say? Wait a minute, what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> I said I was like totally being flamboyant the other day, and I was going to go on to this whole spiel about like the vlog, and I started digging a hole. I'm like, but I'm not like that. Ah. Well, hold on, not that being like that is bad, and then it's just like, nope, I'm done. I'm digging a huge yeah. grave for myself, yeah. which is... That's that whole Seinfeld episode. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> Okay, so Troy is experiencing the Epitat Nightmare. Is there an easier way to do this? Like maybe like a stamp that's hot that you can just like, like branding a cow. Just sit there and shh, done. Yeah, but then you have to make the brand and that doesn't, you know, come easily. True. So... I'm kind of finding this amusing because now he knows what I was going through <laughs> when I did that first tombstone. And I was in the computer room, like, doing my thing. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, when, when, I, when I'm done, or actually when I'm still doing this, you can go in and edit and upload. Yeah. Like that will happen. Oh, my God, you almost look, like, bald in this light. Oh, my gosh, dude, stop. Well, you told me to vlog. I told you to vlog. That's what to make. Okay, so I'll keep your I'll keep your head like off in the That's corner. That's it. I'm shaving it. I'm gonna shave it. You're blonde, dude. You still got a full head of hair. It's just. Oh no, no, it, dude. It, it's. I mean, it's not to the point that I'm finding it in the drain, but. Well, stop putting crap in your hair. I don't put anything in my hair usually. I thought you. Product. <laughs> I don't use any product. Mm, okay. <laughs> but 
but yeah, I absolutely hate this. If you had the white foam, we could do with that cool guy at the haunted... Terry Mize. Yeah. Or Terry from My Cemetery and Haunt. Yeah, we could do what he showed us. Which, okay, uh, that's... That, 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 that. That, in Greek, that? some parts of Greek, that actually means, uh, I can't remember. Wow, that made a lot of sense. Doesn't it, though? It's just like, plethorized, like, randomness, like, all over the place. Oh, he said that it worked for the verbal vomit! <laughs> he said that that technique with the spray paint, you know, basically, if this was contact paper and it was, you know, not all floppity-floppity there... You could just spray paint it and it would eat through. That works great for the white. Why don't you go show the samples? I don't I wasn't here when you did the samples. Oh, well, they're in here. Because for the pink and the blue foam, it really doesn't work all that well. And I know it's gonna be hard to see the depth, but this right here was basically the same kind of principle. Right. Turn it. Okay, so that Looks okay, but then you turn it this way. Once you paint it, it's not very it deep. Look okay, but this right here, yeah. this on this one, that's the normal styrofoam. This right here is about how much he sprayed on his to get it to do yeah, it. Yeah, and then tell him how much you had to spray to get it to do that. Yeah, this right here, I just and that's like just flipping coating on. Yeah, there. so then you're like wasting time and money. Yeah. T. Yeah, that's me. I'm T. Rav. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. I try to tell myself that nothing intelligent ever starts with um. So half what half the shit I say isn't very intelligent. You you use it a lot, yeah. As I've the few vlogs that I have watched, um, 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 I'm neither here or there. I'm neither nothing or anything or everything. Are you trying to be like I'm Socrates? everything in between. Like Socrates. Socrates, no. Whoa, you could totally be like Socrates, dude. Socrates, nice. <laughs> Go, Bill. Put them in the Iron Maiden. Excellent! Iron Maiden. Excellent! Execute them. Bogus. Okay, so... A needle pulling thread. Just Law. So, a note to Just so y'all know. Tea, he's been a drink with jam and He's bread. been working on. That'll bring us back to. Oh! A deer. A female deer. So he's been uh, working on this for about 20 minutes now, at least. Mm -hmm. And he's got four letters done. Vanna, pick me a letter. <laughs> wow. Talk about a way to manage your time. Hugh! Hugh! What if I just like took these three away? That'd save like 16 minutes and just do I Hef. I know, right? Hugh Hef. We should spell like, um, Southerners. Oh, wait. That's, that's me being offensive again. I'm sorry. I really appreciate Southerners because you know what? They're not a bunch of pretentious, stuck up bastards. And bitches, and I really appreciate that in a human being. It makes me feel at home and comfortable, and uh, yeah, like I'm home because that's kind of the environment that I was raised in. It's a quarter after one in the morning. <laughs> that's funny. The dog is just about passed out. Travis just got through taking a picture of her, and that's so funny because I pulled the camera out at the same time. Anyway, uh, Travis is going to be out of here in just a second. Say bye, Travis. To all, to, to all of your fans. I don't have any fans. Travis doesn't think that he has any fans. I dare you guys to post something in the comments saying otherwise. If you're a fan of mine, you don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's extremely hard to see, but I got the, uh, the name Hugh Hefner imprinted, so it needs to be uh, routered? Routered out? Anyway. Shout out of the night, new subscriber, the Wolfman1031. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, everybody else, uh, tomorrow, again, Epic Tombstone Building, day number, what, like four, five, something like that. Um, all right, happy haunting. See you guys tomorrow. That's some bad hat, Harry.